My name is Bill, and I am, I've been building some Stirling engines in the past, but this is my latest creation, which is a uh, eight-cylinder Stirling engine. Like any other Stirling engines, it has the uh, displacer cylinders and pistons, and on the bottom here is the power pistons um, and cylinders and pistons. And on the bottom here, is, there's eight gears that's coupling all eight cylinders together. Uh, it works by the same regular principle, the way all Stirling engines work. The air is heated inside the displacer um, cylinders, and when the air is heated, it expands, and it creates pressure inside that works on the uh, power pistons and, and creates a motion that keeps the engine running. As the uh, displacer pistons are moving up and down, uh, the air is being shuttled from the hot side to the cold side. And when that happens, the pressure, when the displacer piston is down, the air is heated, the pressure goes up, and the, and the uh, it, it goes past the uh, displacer piston and enters through a... Uh, a uh, manifold plate into the next uh, power cylinder and power piston. So uh, this and this then makes one uh, one actual engine. Uh, but since there are eight of them, so you could say that there's eight single cylinder engines coupled together into one unit. In preparation for running this thing, what I have to do is See, right now, there's no compression inside the engine. There's uh, pressure release holes which need to be well, plugged up. They all plugged up. It's almost impossible to turn this by hand now because it's creating a compression. Well, that's, that, that tells me that now everything is set up as far as that goes. And now we can uh, fill this uh, water tank <laughs> with water up to a level about here. There is also a, uh, a water pump and uh, there will be a water supply down below there and the overflow, because we not we don't want the water to come all over the engine here, the overflow comes out through the overflow pipe back into the tank. Uh, the engine is made up of parts that are uh, a little unusual. This particular section here was a cooking pot and uh, the upper part, this is the upper section of the same cooking pot was separated and uh, this is the section used here. The heater is a uh, space heater. Cylinders just happen to be uh, <laughs> hairspray cans. This is made out of steel and then I uh, had to look for and found a suitable aluminum can that fits inside with just a little bit of a clearance between the two to allow the air to shuttle from the top to the bottom and so forth. And that's, the, that's the displacer action because it's di displacing the air from the top to the bottom. Now in the lower section here, uh, I had to get some gears. Uh, that mesh at a 45 degree angle. Well, most miter gears mesh at a uh, 90 degree angle. So I decided to make my own. So I took some aluminum uh, discs that I made from a quarter inch aluminum plate and uh, on a computer CAD laid out the form of the teeth and uh, printed out the uh, forms and, and glued on to each uh, gear blank and then proceeded on to uh, my bandsaw and cut out the teeth with the bandsaw. And that's how I came up with all the gears I needed.
slow down and come to a stop. Well, that was the running of my eight cylinder engine. Thanks for watching.